Hi, I'm Felicia Follum. My, I am a traveler. I study culture and languages and uh, different religions, and I respond to those through teaching and creating artwork. Last night, I was asked to give a talk at an exhibition art opening. It was through Drew Boy Creative at Confluence Space, and the show was dealing with refugees and uh, the changing things that are changing in the U.S. My pieces were about a specific family, and I wanted to encourage people to get to know people in their community and talk to new people. And uh, I've done a lot with refugees over the last couple years. I teach English at a place called the Family Learning Center. I work with high school kids who have been here less than three years, and I also work with families. I started out meeting in the Halal Stops shops and teaching people English, and I've also gone to Italy to work with people in the refugee camps over there. So I've had a good amount of experience working with refugees uh, in, the, in my city and abroad. And so one of the things that people often say is like, I don't know how to interact with people. I don't know how to say hello. I don't know how to talk to those people. They're, they're intimidated. People are intimidated and scared to say hello to someone new. And so I wanted to encourage you guys with um, the, the pieces in that show. They're up there right now. So they're not here in the studio tour, but um, they're at the gallery. But they're inspired by one family that I got to know really well. And I got to know them just by going up and saying hello in the halal store. And this is where I practiced English uh, with a lot of people working. And one of the oldest daughter uh, and I became really good friends just through saying hello. Uh, we shared stories. She told me about how she ended up here. Um, the complicated, crazy mess of a, of, a, of a story to get to the U.S. to find safety. But such a good conversation. I think for both of us, we both learned and grew through meeting people that were new and different than us. And so um, since then, we've become really good friends. Um, she, their family is Muslim. Um, my family is Christian. And we've uh, we've spent time reading scriptures together. Um, there are books that Christians and Muslims agree about. And so finding those things that we can agree on and sharing, reading about Jesus together, because like there's those things you can do with people that are different. Praying together is another thing that if you're a Christian and you meet a Muslim, oftentimes like you can pray with them. You could pray with them in the halal, pray with her in the halal store and at their house and different things like that. And I think it all starts with just saying hello, saying hello, hi, my name's Felicia. What's your name? Saying hi, I. Where are you from? I heard your accent. I noticed that. Like, what's your background? Just asking some of those basic questions and doing it in a respectful way. It, like. I think people ask weird questions and it's really annoying and uncomfortable. And I think as an African American in the United States, growing up in South Dakota, I went to college in Wyoming, and now I live in a small city, people often ask questions like, where are you from? And they try to get me to like tell them what country I'm from. I'm like, I'm 13th generation American. My mom's Scotch, Irish, Dutch, and German. Like I am American. So don't be that person that asks questions over and over. Don't push it, don't force it, but asking, asking one or two questions and being prepared for them to be like, I'm American, I've been here my whole life. Or not not trying to pester them and tell them what to say, but like saying, yeah, like I like I like meeting new people and you had a great smile. Or um, And again, uh, one thing that's important, I do a lot of work with women. Do these things with like the same gender if you're working cross-culturally, I think. Uh, just Or just be aware that different cultures respond differently to different things than Americans do. This is just kind of a rambling video. I wanted to, I, I talked last night, I had it more planned out to that audience, but I wanted to just encourage you guys to say hello to someone new. Um, if nothing else, just smile and say hello. If they're covering and you can tell that they're a Muslim, um, you can say assalamu alaikum, which means um, peace and greetings to you. And they'll probably say wa, al wa alaikum salam, which is and peace to you, I believe is the literal translation. But um, assalamu alaikum is something you can say. You can even just say hello, hello. In English is fine too. Yeah, I hope this was encouraging. If you liked this, if you want to get to know people that are different than you, go ahead and just say hello. Thank you for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe. I make art videos, art, travel, culture, languages, religious studies, any of those things. If you have questions, ask me below. Oh, I'm drinking mate today. I should have done a mate Monday. Hopefully all is well. I will see you.